This video explains how to extract characters between parentheses using the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the character string that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called X. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a new character string, which contains different letters. And you can also see that some of these letters are surrounded by parentheses. Now let's assume that we want to return only those characters which are contained within the parentheses. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines five to nine. So in these lines of code, I'm using the gsub function in combination with the regmatches function and the greg expression function. I will put all this code into the description of the video so you can just copy paste it from there and apply it to your own code. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object that is called x extract one. So if you run lines five to nine of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called x extract one. And we can print the output of this to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have returned only those letters that appeared between the parentheses. And you can also see that this is a vector of character strings because each element within the parentheses is stored in a separate element in our vector. Alternatively to that, we can also use the string R package to extract characters between parentheses, as you can see in the next example, starting in line 12 of the code. So first we need to install and load the string R package as you can see in lines 12 and 13. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 13 of the code. And then in the next step in lines 15 to 18 of the code, we can use the gsub function in combination with the str extract all function of the string R package. And then I'm also storing this output in another data object, which is called x extract two. So after running lines 15 to 18 of the code, another data object called x extract two is appearing at the top right. And we can print the output of this to the bottom by running line 19 of the code. And then you can see that we have created exactly the same output as in the previous example. However, this time we have used the str extract all function of the string R package. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.